Seiko loves to make limited editions, and although they are numerous, they always seem to make something fun and desirable. This piece is no exception, and is a super enhanced Captain Willard that has been made to commemorate the daring mountaineer Naomi Umora, who would have turned 80 this year. He actually wore a 1970s diver's watch, and this piece is a modern reinterpretation of that. The SLA-049 is designed to evoke the wonders of Umora's explorations, with rich blues of the textured dial and bezel, and an additional silicone strap, which represents the mountain skies. The Zeratsu polish on the case and bracelet represent the brilliance of snow and ice. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you awesome watch content at least once a week. And if you haven't already, please make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. In our last video, we reviewed the Grand Seiko Summer GMT SBGJ249 which has a captivating dial and color combination that is sure to impress. I recommend everyone checking this one out since it may be the next snowflake. So here's some news for everyone. This is my last time here in this studio and I'll definitely miss this studio, but we're moving on to bigger and better things. We're gonna have a much better studio where I can probably do some much greater content for everyone. So I'm super excited and we'll see the first video from that studio starting next week. So let's go ahead and do a wrist check. Uh, today I'm wearing my Longines Hydroconquest Chronograph. This was my first real luxury watch, and I was very excited to have this one, which now I don't really wear it too often, but it's still a great piece to me. Now, tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The SLA-049 has a 43.1 millimeter case width, a 13.1 millimeter thickness, a 48.9 millimeter lug to lug, a 19.9 millimeter lug width, and weighs in at 185.05 grams. The case is made out of stainless steel that has been coated with Seiko super hard coating. It is matte finished on the top and is a cushion style, which most people will recognize as the Captain Willard. The side has a crisp bevel of Zeratsu around the edge, which continues onto the entire side of the case. And this is unique to this model and its brother. The crown is placed in an in-case crown protector and it's screwed down and it's at the four o'clock position. It does not have the logo on it. The crystal is sapphire and has a bevel around the edge to give it a more fascinating look. The bezel is Zeratsu polished and has an undefined non-ceramic insert in blue. It turns unidirectionally and I think we should go ahead and see how it sounds. It has that unique Seiko noise. If any of you all are familiar with it, that is the unique Seiko noise. It feels very crisp and nice, and it actually lines up very well. So I give this one a thumbs up. The dial is in blue and has a texture that is supposed to resemble the sky over the mountains. Seiko can be found on the top center portion in white. The dial marker at the 12th position is a shield style divided in two. And you have squares for the other markers besides a rectangle for the three, six, and nine positions. A minute grade can be found along the perimeter of the dial in white. The hour and minute hands are baton style, with a second hand that has a new and popular traffic light design near the tip. The prospect symbol, automatic, and divers 200M can be found at the bottom middle portion. The date can be found between the four and five markers and has white numerals with a black background. Loom can be found on all dial markers, the hour, minute, and second hands, and the pip on the bezel. The case back is closed and has the Wave logo in the center with Naomi Umara 80th Anniversary Limited Edition engraved around the perimeter. The movement is a high torque 8L35 caliber, which has been assembled at the Shizuku Ishii Watch Studio, which is where they make the Grand Seiko pieces. This movement has been based on the Grand Seiko Caliber 9S, 
but has slightly different specs, being it beats at 28,800 beats per hour, which is the same, but it has a 50 hour power reserve instead of the 72 that the 9S has. The accuracy is rated between losing 10 seconds and gaining 15 seconds per day. It is typically placed in high-end prospects dive pieces and is rarely seen. The bracelet is five link style and feels almost like the Grand Seiko quality with matte main links and high polish for the smaller links. The buckle has Seiko on top of the locking mechanism, has a four click micro adjust and is a folding pusher style. It also comes with a blue rubber strap. The SLA 049 Naomi Yamura 80th anniversary limited edition is 200 meter water resistant, is limited to 1200 pieces and can be yours for a wonderful $3,100. Now for my humble opinion. I have always liked the Captain Willard pieces. Something about the case just resonates with me, being a nice size on my six and a half inch wrist, but also looking more like a refined version of the turtle. What this piece does is it takes the Captain Willard and makes it luxurious. If we are talking cars, this is the highest package with all the leather, the sensors, the V8 motor, and the trim versus the base model that may have cloth seats and perhaps a four cylinder and roll up windows if they even exist anymore. This piece feels totally different than the standard version. And if you're going to leave a comment about I would never pay that much for a Willard, I encourage you to go and pick one up in person first and see what you think. Even the bracelet feels excellent on this piece. And the bevel on the case is subtle, but it's very well done and it adds a little bit of intrigue. The dial is fun and the traffic light hand is a symbol of how new this piece is since it's only going to be on this and the Baby Marine Masters at the moment. I'll recommend this to anyone who has been waiting for an Ultimate Willard to come out and maybe you are a fan of Naomi Umara or just want a great everyday piece that is comfortable and rugged. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share it with your friends. We look forward to seeing you next video.